Welcome to the Thargoid Report. I'm Commander Burr. This is a distillation of the excellent weekly thread from Burton Simmons on Reddit. For finer details on the why and the what of the Thargoids activity then do give that post a look, I've linked it below. If you find this information useful and enjoy our content then please consider giving the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to make sure you see all our future videos. The following stations are currently burning like a Friday night vindaloo on a Saturday morning and are subject to ongoing rescue operations. Lange Port in Tangua. Karakina Orbital in HIP 9141 Cassini City in HIP 8830 Mates Port in HIP 10492 Sugano Ring in Witu Orlin Enterprise in Orlin Davies City in Devane Nielsen Port in Mike Brand Hub in HIP 24046 if you are going into a burning station bring all the heat sinks. Links to my previous videos on this subject are below. Canon's inoculation initiative codenamed Operation Indy Croft which we reported on last week appears to have had no effect on the WITU system. They've not given up however and are continuing to explore ways to defend the bubble via the medium of science. When we have more solid information on that we'll bring it to you. If you're looking to attack Thargoids then scout vessel infestations are being reported by the Eagle Eye Sensor Network in the following systems. Mubatas, Domoth, LTT 617, Brib, Aganip, Ross 1057. If you are engaging in anti Thargoid scout combat operations you'll don't necessarily need specialised equipment but the entry level anti xeno weaponry requires no unlocking and it really helps. The scout class vessels also count as elite ranked ships so this is an excellent way to level up your combat rank. If you're feeling brave for the more hardcore combat zone encounters then incursions are underway in the following systems. Priviatem, Tangua, Agarth, Bad Bad Zist, LP73432, HIP9141, HIP4024, HIP8830, Songbei, HIP12779, Vajra Deng, HIP10492, Eskite, Kambu, Witau, Orlin, Devane, Mike and HIP 24046. For the scouts and the death daisies I'd recommend decontamination limpets are added to your standard arsenal and you might want to think about taking shed loads of heat sinks as well. The meanie greenies will struggle to track you when you're cold. If you're looking to wing up with other commanders then there's links below to the AXI, the Hive, the Hand and the Squadrons of Humanity. Between them these organisations have all platforms covered and will help you with advice as well as comradeship. Wherever you go commanders remember pick your fights with care. If you want to help with the cleanup from previous attacks and help get stations back online then please visit links to the frankly amazing Operation Ida in the description below. Ida coordinate the rebuilding efforts for the wider galactic community and will have you covered on where to go and what to bring with you. As we reported last week the guys at IDA are now operating to great effect inside the bubble and have launched an initiative to get more commanders involved in AX efforts across the three main disciplines defence, repair and evacuation. This weekend they're hosting an event to attempt to bring a station back to repaired status in 24 hours or less, perfectly achievable in the bubble. There's no solid information as of this recording on what station is being targeted. Keep an eye on elite themed social media and get involved when the announcement is made. We'll be participating here at the Burr Pit and we'd love to see you there. That's it for now. Thank you so much for making it this far. You can also find us on Twitter, Patreon, Discord and Instagram. Links to all those are in the description below and we'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 Commanders may all your high predictions be brief. Don't let the laser lilies give you nightmares. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.